Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman. So this is the latest book in the Thursday Murder Club. I believe it's the second book in the series. As always, I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. Before I get into this, I should also mention I read this as a buddy read with Charles Heathcote here on BookTube, so shout out to Charlie, thank you for reading this for me. Let us begin. Dane reads. So, it's the following Thursday. Elizabeth has received a letter from an old colleague, a man with whom she has a long history. He needs her help. His story involves stolen diamonds, a violent mobster, and a very real threat to his life. As bodies start piling up, Elizabeth enlists Joyce, Ibrahim, and Ron in the hunt for a ruthless murderer. And if they find the diamonds too, well, wouldn't that be a bonus? But this time they are up against an enemy who wouldn't bat an eyelid at knocking off four septuagenarians. Can the Thursday murder club find the killer before the killer finds them? So Joyce decides she might either get a dog or join Instagram. I'd advise against it, says Ibrahim. Oh, you'd advise against everything, says Ron. Broadly, yes, agrees Ibrahim. Not a big dog, of course, says Joyce. I haven't got the hoover for a big dog. I mean, I haven't got the hoover for, for the cat that I have. It's a nightmare. And the conversation continues. So Ibrahim says, A woman of 77 has a 51% chance of living for another 15 years. This is jolly, says Joyce. I didn't come into money, by the way. So, if you were to get a dog now, Joyce, would you outlive it? That's the question. I'd outlive a dog through pure spite, says Ron. We just sit in opposite corners of the room, staring each other out and see who went first. So then we head over to the police. Um, so, Donna DeFrita, she's introduced Chris Hudson to her mum, and now Chris is dating her mum. Um... And I just like this little paragraph here. Stakeouts with Chris Hudson used to be more fun. There would be crisps, there would be quizzes, there would be gossip about the new DS who just started at Fairhaven and had accidentally sent a picture of his penis to a local shopkeeper who was asking for advice on security girls. Ah, happens a lot, those accidental penis pictures. And Ibrahim is reading you about a psychopath called Joe. So I assume that's the one by uh, Carolyn Kepnes that then got turned into the TV series. Haven't read or watched it yet, but I do keep meaning to. And we get a reference to uh, the psychopath test as well. And then Ibrahim ends up in the hospital. I don't want to spoil by explaining why. Um, but I think it's, who? Yeah, who is it? Uh, Ron came over to visit him. Um, they watch Die Hard, but only the first one. No point watching the others, apparently. I don't know, I think the others are good, the first three anyway. Die Hard 2 is actually my favourite of the lot. So I just thought this was funny, it was quite telling of Elizabeth's character, but also interesting. Elizabeth is grasping the handle of the knife firmly with an overhand grip, the way she was taught more than 50 years before. An underhand grip, favoured by the Soviets, was briefly fashionable in the 70s, but overhand was back now. It allowed for much greater force, particularly if your assailant was bigger than you. And we get, she talks about, we get talk about somebody having a hair plan trans, transplant. Ugh. I saw Dr. Range talking about them on this morning once. They take hair from the back of your head and put it on the top of your head and hey presto, you're not going bald anymore. And I saw a really interesting video from a trans man on TikTok who'd had that to create a beard and it was, it was really cool to, to learn that. Science is amazing. We get this which just made me think of my other half because she loves llamas. Ron looks at the llamas. Ian Bentham's idea when he ran the place. Not his cup of tea, but seen through a child's eyes, not without charm. If you ended up living somewhere with llamas, then perhaps not all is bad. And we get this. Joyce says, more women are murdering people these days. If you ignore the context, it is a real sign of progress. And that was just interesting because I recently read a Chuck Palahniuk book um, where the main character in that was a female murderess. And she talked about it as being last wave feminism. So I just want to read the start of chapter 47 here because I thought this was really fascinating. Uncle Ibrahim, what's better, a monkey or a penguin? A penguin, says Ibrahim, and pats the seat next to the bed. Kendrick sits down. Oh, okay. Grandad didn't know. Why is a penguin better than a monkey? Ibrahim puts his paper down. Kendrick, do you know why I like you? Kendrick shakes his head. I don't even know at all. You ask very good questions. Not many people do. Why don't they? asks Kendrick. Well, there you go again, says Ibrahim. Now, penguins are better than monkeys because penguin is a very specific term and monkey is very unspecific. If we say monkey, then different people see different things. Maybe a mandrel, maybe a little marmoset. Whereas if you say penguin, then we all picture the same thing. Words are very important. Most people don't know that. And the more specific a word is, the better it is. But is an actual penguin better than an actual monkey? Ibrahim thinks. No animal is better than any other animal. We're all just a collection of atoms smashed together. Even people, even trees. Even tigers? Even tigers. Hello, it's me. It is a long time in the future. Apparently I lost the final bit of uh, footage for this review, but I did enjoy uh, whatever it was called, The Man Who Died Twice. I gave it like a week, four out of five. Would recommend it, especially if you've read The Thursday Murder Club and enjoyed that. It was pretty good. 
So there we have it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.